Today we're in beautiful Sedona reviewing the brand new RSD Sargent V5. A couple years back I reviewed the Sargent V3 and the new V5 has some changes. It's got a shorter chain stay, slacker head angle. It's still got that great room for 27.5 plus, 29, 29 plus, and even 27.5 by 4.0 if you want to experiment with fat biking. I've got all the specs and details and geekery over on the first look video. So if you're interested in this bike, make sure you go watch that video with tons and tons of info on it. Today we're taking it on the trails to see what it rides like. Now this bike comes in three configurations. This is the 27.5 plus configuration with the 140 DVO Diamond D3. This is how most people are gonna buy it. We'll go review it like this. And then in coming videos, I'll review it in a couple other configurations too. I'm here with my buddies, Jordan and Derek. They're locals. They're super kind to be follow cam for me. It kind of ruins our group ride because now it's work and job and we got to get the shots. But I know how much you guys like those third person uh, follow cams and, and seeing the terrain that I'm riding from a different perspective than just my chest cam. So super thankful for them for doing this. Let's go hit the trail. All right, aboard the Sergeant V5. Excited to be on this. I love the Sergeant V3. And I've been excitedly awaiting the V5. It's got shorter chain stays, a little slacker head angle, a little more modern. Man, it's a tractor with these big 3.0s. I love 27.5 by 3.0. I sized up a little bit. RSD recommends a small for me. I'm five foot six and I'm on a medium right now. They say I should be on a small just based off of height but I feel like the medium's the right fit for me. I just need a little bit shorter stem. Super grateful for my buddies for filming for me, putting them to work instead of enjoying a nice ride. I'm so glad they went with an even shorter chain stay. That was something I wanted to change on the V3. And this definitely has a more playful vibe to it than the V3. So this is an awesome, adventure, exploring, goof around bike. Hello. But you can definitely charge and attack the trail a little more on this than the V3 and I like that. This climb's a lot more slow and technical and chunky and tricky than it looks. Howdy. Thank you. Man, plus tires are awesome. <laughs> so much traction and comfort. So this is aluminum frame with big old tubes. I'll bet if I were running 2.3s on there, it'd be a little stiff. But with these big 3.0s, it feels great. Yeah, I'm a little stretched out in the cockpit when climbing and seated. I'm riding flat pedals today. Thought it suited the bike and the trail well. I switch back and forth between flat and clips quite a bit. I like them both. I can get lazy with line choice with the 27.5 by 3.0s because I know the tires will just hook up. All right, let's see how this does on a little bit of flow. Ooh, pretty playful. This handles really well. Not sketchy. Yeah! Love that corner. I was not ready for that. Oh, this bike's fun. It's not quite middle child fun like that middle child. A little bit shreddier and a little bit more BMXy. But the middle child doesn't have the versatility of this beast. Oh yeah, it's fun to just goof around on. Some bikes really want to be ridden like 9 tenths to 10 tenths, just charge everywhere. This bike is fun at those speeds, but it doesn't have to be. It's fun at 2 tenths as well. Really easy bike to ride. I think a lot of new riders are going to love this, and experienced riders. You don't have to like manhandle the bike anywhere. You don't have to have crazy modern technique. Though just about every bike's better with crazy modern technique. 
some bikes when you're fatigued they don't ride well and you're kind of fighting it this is not one of those real easy to ride it's a great climber too I think with a 40 mil stem this will be about perfect for me it accelerates well it's not crazy harsh despite being aluminum see how it handles a little bit of steep rolls super in control this little bike is fun super fun Jordan's an excellent rider yeah he's on a high tower great Sedona bike nicely done on a couple of these RSD reviews I've had these clips these hose clips come off so if you get an RSD I'd recommend just zip tying them I've had better luck with zip ties staying on so I've got a little bit of a rattly cable easy to fix but I thought I had zip ties but they're in my other hip pack all right we're gonna try to MacGyver this with the hardtail party sticker hold this on we'll see see if that holds this is Derek's first time riding these slabs and he's doing great we're coaching him on it yep keep rolling yep he just rode the gnarly line nicely done Derek very good we're about to ride the hogs trails experts only Horse is not recommended. Thankfully, I've never seen a horse out here. It's a fun trail, but it's tricky to clean the whole thing. This is an interesting double black diamond. A lot of people come here and they'll ride 90% of it and be like, that trail wasn't hard. Well, 90% is not, but that 10% to clean it is tricky. Let's see if we can do it today. A lot of exposure and slow speed techie moves on this. It's the kind of stuff I love. This bike is great. Definitely easier to manage and ride than the V3. I like that shorter rear end, gives it much more of a trail bike feel. Still feels slightly more like a Jeep Rubicon than a Ford Raptor. Nice job, RSD. This bike's in control, I like that. Did not feel spooky, that's a spooky move, but it felt good. This bike's fun. More fun than I expected it to be. A little bit of a charger too, I like it. Man, the 27.5 Plus gives me so much confidence. Smooth ride, great grip. And I like the smaller wheels being a small rider. I feel like I'm closer to the ground and if I need to step off or have an emergency moment, I feel like the bike's a little smaller to do that. Usually I'm on 29ers, but yeah, it's fun being on 27.5 plus again. The power delivery is really good on this. Just stand up and sprint. Ugh. Another couple power moves. Oh, uh, nice. Oh, wrong gear. Those long cranks saved me. That's one thing I'd love to change. I'd love to see this with 165 mil cranks. 175s are a little long for me, but it's fine. What an adventure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're good. That's a big turn. 
Sorry to hit you. <sighs> this bike definitely has a vibe that makes you feel like a kid. It's not a super BMXy bike, but man, is it versatile and it's gonna be fun with big tires on it. I can't wait to review it with the 4.0s. Yeah, I think a 40 mil stem is gonna wake this up for me. The steering's real nice. I just makes the reach a little bit longer than I need. Oh, those 27.5 pluses just have so much confidence and traction and they make it such a smooth ride. Oh, stay low. I picked a terrible line. Let's redo that. Nice and in control. Yeah. What a bike. Oh, that was really fun. Nice yeah. job, Jordan. Woo. I do have to force myself to lean this bike a little bit more than feels natural. I think it's that longer stem. Yeah, I think it just has a little bit of a slack seat angle, which a lot of people like. A lot of people do not like these new steep seat angle bikes like my Maniac. Very steep seat angle. It's not for everyone. And I think those of you that are sick of steep seat angle bikes, you're gonna like this. And you like having your hips over the rear axle a little more. I think this would be a good choice for you. Oh yeah, that's nice and mellower now. Oh, I like this trail. That was such a fun ride and what a cool bike. It was more fun than I thought it'd be for such a Swiss Army knife. I think a lot of people are gonna love bike packing on it. They're gonna love riding it rigid. The beauty in this bike is its versatility. If you're never gonna run it in a different wheel configuration, I'd probably recommend a one trick pony that does the one trick you're looking for really, really well. And if you wanna find out what the one trick pony is or the best all rounder, for your riding style and your budget, become a patron today. I do my one-on-one -on -one bike consultation over there and I work with hundreds of people to help them find the right bike for them for their budget. There are so many confusing numbers and standards and geometries and sizing and all that stuff. It's really confusing for people, especially coming back into the sport. And I love helping people navigate that crazy confusing world of mountain bikes. So if you need that, whether it's full suspension or hardtail, hop on over to patreon.com slash hardtail party. That's my main business and how I support this. All right, let's wrap up this bike. This bike, like I said, the beauty lies in its versatility. If you're looking for one bike that can wear many hats, this is probably the most versatile bike I've ridden on the channel. You can put the 27.5 by 2.4s on it for snow riding or for just big balloon tire adventure riding. You can run it with a rigid RSD fork. You can run it suspended. You could run it 29er. You could run it 29 plus. And I'll be testing it out in a couple different configurations. Make sure you're subscribed so you're notified of the other reviews I do on this in other configurations. I'll be swapping out the tires and putting on the rigid fork to tell you what I think about it. But as a 27.5 plus bike, this bike was a lot of fun. Like I said, it's not as BMXy or um, playful as the RSD middle child. What makes this bike so special is its versatility to be able to ride all those different wheel size and tire sizes. And this is a bit of a jack of all trades, master of none so far, at least as a trail bike in this format, it's a great bike. Uh, there was nothing wrong with it, but there are other bikes that are a little bit better at doing what we just rode, but they can't fit 27 5x4.0s and ride in the snow too. So while it may not be a one trick pony, that's just the perfect, perfect trail bike for a certain trail it makes up for that in versatility and all the different things that it can do so many cool ways to configure this bike the frame did not feel overly stiff it's interesting rsd's aluminum bikes look like they'd ride super super stiff but they don't to me i love the sliding dropouts i love the external cable routing i just think it's a wonderful trail bike that can make a lot of people happy 
So if you're interested in versatility and lots of different wheel sizes, I think you're gonna fall in love with this thing. Like I said, every single thing they've changed on this has made it a better trail bike. In coming reviews, we'll see if we lost anything in fat bike mode or in 29 plus mode, but I can't imagine it. Plus you can always extend the chain stays out if you wanted that longer chain stay ride anyway. I could see people loading this up with bags. I could see people running it in a fat rigid combo where they're just exploring at slow speeds. And I could see people running it as a trail bike like this. Super fun bike. All of these improvements made it even better on the trail. And I can't wait to take this out in the other configurations as well. Make sure you're subscribed so that you're notified when that drops. If you're interested in an RSD Sergeant V5 or any RSD or even like an RSD fork or something, you can get 5% off using the coupon code PARTY. Thanks for watching everybody. There's a party in the mountains and you're invited.